Welcome back, Cow Bears, and happy spring semester. From the Campanile's 100th birthday to the newest food craze on campus, we have the stories to keep you updated this February. I'm Marion Haderali, and the Berkeley Beat starts now. Forbes released a list of their top 30 under 30 entrepreneurs, and a group of recent Cal alums made the list for their achievements in healthcare. Connor Landgraf, Tyler Crouch, and Jason Bellett, founders of Echo Devices, are working to improve the common stethoscope, which would allow doctors to visualize, record, share, and analyze heart sounds. These Berkeley grads, all in their early 20s, are making waves in the world of healthcare. Speaking of hearts, you've probably seen plenty down the aisles of Walgreens or out in cyberspace this February. For a correspondent piece, follow Connor on Sprout while he finds out what your peers think about Valentine's Day. Hey Bears! Whether you're a sappy romantic or a doubtful disbeliever, everyone has something to say about Valentine's Day. I'm going home tomorrow night to go see my boyfriend for the weekend. Valentine's Day is supposed to be about love, right? So you should be loving everybody and not just on one single day, it should be every day. But yeah, so I'm going to be auctioned off and whoever bids on me the highest, that's going to be my day for Saturday. In other news, on Tuesday, February 3rd, our Campanile turned 100 years old. Did you know that our beloved Campanile has 23 bells that the Carolinists play with their hands and feet? The celebration kicked off with a light and music show that drew a large audience of students and Bay Area residents. There is no doubt that the Campanile is a defining trademark of our campus, and we are thankful for its hundred years of chimes and tunes. And finally, the pick of the week. Smoke's poutinery on Durant has been causing quite the stir among the foodies here at Cal. On the first day poutinery opened its doors to the public, it drew lines down the block. Its authentic Canadian cuisine of hand-cut fries, specialty gravy, and various topping selections have the campus buzzing. You don't want to miss out on this classic Canadian staple. And that's all for this week. Be sure to check out the next episode on our sexual assault series, coming out February 23rd. We'll see you next time on the Berkeley Beat. And as always, go Bears!